let me just start off by saying that laws were broken in the making of this video. campsite well I think is the campsite um, and it's it's occupied at the moment because we came out a little bit early today there's beautiful and uh, so we'll have to go goof off and check out some of the scenery in the area which is set up chain right over here he's gonna be hammock camping tonight it's gonna get chilly uh old bob darren's over here trying to get all cozy i mean look at this thing he we built need, this no he ain't getting cold so i'm really thankful tonight that i've got um an olympium wave three heater because these three over here are discussing what they're going to do for the cold weather and their plan apparently is to climb up in that roof tent together and do some spooning thankfully we got some propane in here so we're good to go there you go. Yeah, they had run out of pink i'm sorry look at that how cool is that all right let's see we're trying to figure out where they've hit a propane line in between the two. All right, I hear. You got propane on I that side. I hear propane there. God, I hear it there too. No, it's got to be going through How here. In the world, I want y'all to look out. That's that crazy. Is. All right, I see I something right here. There's a there's a little a small brass. Line? There's a small brass line right there going through there. Huh. I can smell it. Yeah. Yeah, but what about the fuel? I smell the fuel. Oh, okay. Mm. Come on, man. You didn't get my joke. I did. Well, it just took a minute <laughs> to get it. Right, okay. So cool. Let's see. I think it's got a self igniter somewhere. Yeah. Is that it? Should it? be right here. Is it on? What is it? What is no, this? Not. Oh, this is self igniter. Right oh, here. yeah. There you go. All right. So I'm gonna kick the fuel on here. Okay. I'm gonna turn this one down. Holy crap, that's oh, it. Well, We're firing. We got fire. We got fire. Look at this teapot over there somewhere. Yeah. Where's that teapot? I don't know, but would you? Let's see what we're going to have for dinner. Care for some soup? What kind of, what kind of soup do we have? Is that some squatch? Squatch, squatch soup. soup, you say? That's amazing. It's what Canadian hell? approved, made in the USA. Only huh. sold in Burke County. Apparently Bob Darren's got a secret fishing hole. It's very well hidden, as you can see, by my surroundings and nobody 
knows about this secret fishing hole at all. I think Steve has discovered something. Let's see what he's found. Over here, squatch trap. Yep. Come check it out. Holy moly. Oh, so look at that. That's got to be a, a 1,200 gotta pounder. Be, that's got to be a, so a nine-foot squatch. At Easy least. nine foot. Mm. Based on based on the spread, I'm saying probably 800 pounds. 800 pounds. Mercy. Squatch track, Shane. I'm ready. Well, let's go get him. He's going that I way. I mean, Mike, you think so? Yeah. I mean, from the look, how do you how do you, see, how do you figure right he's going his that way? Right here's his toe box. Okay. And so if I put my toes down beside of it, yeah. then that means I'd be walking that away. You got any estimates on size and weight? He's three and a half, four pounds. Easy. That much? Yeah, I think. Well, I, I believe those tracking foot. skills are nine unmatched for sure. Pounds. As you can see, Steve, who is obviously an expert drone pilot, decided to share some of his knowledge with me who had owned a drone for about 10 hours at this point. And you can see I'm kind of, I'm getting off to a bit of a rocky start. Uh, but you know, uh, we're seeing some stuff. Look at there, it's a beautiful creek, amazing. Um, so at this point I think I've, I kind of got a grip on how this thing functions. And uh, Steve's just showing me a few more little things and uh, he stands there obviously in approval at the marvelous job I'm doing so I think it's a good time to venture off and try it out for myself um, and I, I find a nice little pier overlooking a creek uh, I mean you know I'm kinda you know my drone might have had a few adult beverages or something I'm not really sure what's going on it definitely wasn't my fault um, at all because you can see how amazing my landing skills are you know I mean, look at that. It's a, brilliant. So why not take it to the next level? Let's go out in the parking lot and let's get this thing up high. That's what I decided to do until this happens. It just went crazy. I didn't know where it was going, what it was doing, but it was way up. Oh, there, looky there. It's a tree. And here we come, just kind of cruising around. At this point, I can hear it, but I cannot see the thing. It is straight headed to Canada for all I know at this point but luckily ish she finds a tree and I'm pretty sure oh yep another tree and another one and we're just kind of cruising at this point and I think yeah we're we're about done right there Fortunately, the gimbal on the camera still worked, so I was able to kind of figure out, look, there's a truck. I was like, oh, I see the truck, and I didn't know it at the time, but that was a park ranger uh, walking around. And then I saw Steve down below me, and I was like yelling for Steve. I was like, where are you? Well, it didn't take me long to lose it. It is in the very top of that tree. Let me set this down, see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, you might be able to see. Hey buddy, you, uh, you want to come down? God, that is. Not having any success getting the drone out of the tree tonight. So, I'm going to come back later on. After these 40 mile an hour winds kick up, hopefully, it'll knock it out of that tree. And I'll be the first one to get to it. We shall see. To be continued. It's early morning and uh, doesn't look like I'm getting that drone back easily. So we're going to move on to plan B. Plan B is going to be far more dramatic and exciting. Stay tuned. How would we sleep, fellas? Like a baby. Like a baby? Yeah. But, I mean, I wasn't worried about waking up this morning to get a drone either, so, I mean. <laughs> well, Operation Drone failed this morning, so. I kind of figured we're, much. We're going to move on to plan B. 
How'd you sleep? Man, I slept great. Yeah. Another electric heating blanket, you know, out here in the middle of the wilderness really helps. Well, I tell you what, we're roughing it out here. We are roughing it, folks. It's a tough life to live. Met with Mary, the park ranger. She walked out there with me. We looked out, we found it. It's still up there. Uh, for whatever reason, they did not like my idea of using a potato gun to knock it out of the tree. Um, I guess one misdemeanor was enough, you know? She said <laughs> two might be pushing it, so no potato gun. I told you four scoops, I'm not sorry, three. I'm sorry. Four, Shane. Come four, on, Bobby. Four. Looks like the van's right. on fire. Shut that door, Looks Bobby. like I got monkeying around and Adventure Outdoors with me today. We got Steve from Adventure Outdoors. And we got Shane. Get your paddles from, wet. Yep, from Pat, Pat Weddle and Monkey Noodles. Or, what, what, is, what is it? Hey, what Caleb, is it? Caleb. Oh, wait, man, you, you're showing Shane on video a lot longer than me. Oh, I'm man. sorry. Hang on. on. Let me start over here. I mean, These are worth money. Oh, yeah. This one I can't get any money on eBay for, unfortunately, no. but I tried. I was going to try, you know. But I got two guys here, and then we got the world famous Bobby Darren up in this Bro. joint. Tagiac.com. Yep. <laughs> now let's get real close here. Wait a minute. He told me I could get one for my drone that's up in the tree right now. But uh unfortunately he didn't bring his ladder to put it on for me. This may be sacrilegious, but I'm doing Wagyu beef in the pan tonight. And it smells amazing. Have you one? Peppers. They'd be good with beans, some peppers. Potatoes. Beans, taters, s'mores. <laughs> I mean, mm. look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Even got some squash stew or something, I think. Let's look here. Oh, look at that. Squash soup. Mm mm mm. Well, I have to cut this video a little bit short um, since I lost the drone and I've got to get it recovered before it rains. Um, I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to uh, Steve at Adventure Outdoors. Let me show you his uh, sticker. Y'all need to check him out on YouTube. He's got a lot, a lot of content on there. Uh, really good stuff too. And um, Shane from uh, Monkeying Around you want to check him out also. Um, they do a lot of adventuring with kayaks and whatnot. Both those guys are great. And then if uh, old Bobby Darren ever gets himself a YouTube page going, you'll have to check it out too. Uh, but we had a great trip, good time. And hopefully I can recover my lost illegally flown aircraft. But till next time, we'll see you then. Yeah. Nope, that's a whole, whole bunch of nope right there. Just look, I don't you just look, just look at all this nope. Just look at it. This is nope city. How about that nope action right there? Yep, there's a little bit more nope. Oh my God, he's going to reach for it. Get a drone, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I didn't tell me to get an arborist insurance policy with a drone. Holy cow, look at that. Whew. He got it. So I got the drone back and I'm super excited to get it back. If you liked what you saw today, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm working on creating better content in the background. So we're, we're it's going to take some time, but I'm going to get it there. So stay tuned and be sure to check us out for the next one.